but this is this is what um this is kind of what the 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 thing of, of what cross examination does it, it um uh, attacks the credibility of the witness if they contradict themselves and then you sort of follow up with that on submissions and you say this witness isn't credible because blah 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 um and then you know believe my witness's credibility over that witness's credibility you see, when I, I found the body, I, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video t of a taped program. Sure. That's why I thought it was 1pm. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, see, I would probably allow, allow all this because, you know, it's not very credible. I don't... I don't even need to disprove this. I'm the defendant. It's just not credible. I'm fine with this. I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. This judge just believed whatever the last thing he heard. Like, he just believes the last thing he heard. I wish I had this judge. Just whatever the last thing he hears, believes it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. She is pretty waifu. Actually, a lot of the women in this game are waifu. Like, this this game is full of, like, uh, strong, confident, dominant women and, like, weak, simpering men. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. You said heard, not saw. Yes, heard. All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else. At least of all my watch. <coughs> Wait a second. You had a watch? Hmm, isn't that a little strange? You're saying you heard something. But if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. Z z Wait a second. This guy had a watch on? Why didn't he just say, I looked at my watch and it was one o'clock? This guy is a fucking moron. Objection! The witness did say he actually heard the time. He actually has a point. If he says he heard the time, he says he heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. Yep, yeah, if he says he heard it, he says he heard it. I have to agree with the prosecution. Witness, continue, continue your testimony. There was a voice saying the time. He probably, it was probably coming from the television. Of course he is. Of course he is. And, you know, why should I make his evidence better? You know, he's lying. Let him go with his lies. It's obvious that what he's saying isn't true. Why should I try and make his argument more credible for him? Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? What's going on with that radio? Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. Y you're just giving evidence? There was only one large television- uh, y y Again, the prosecution's giving evidence. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Thanks, Mia. Fucking genius. Something about hearing the television. The witness has testified he heard the time. I, again, he's saying he heard it. That's obviously bullshit. Like, pfft. Again. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? It's obviously not credible. And I'm going to point out exactly how not credible it is in a moment, considering the television is on in the middle of a fucking blackout. How do you explain the gap? Well, witness, can you explain this? Again, again, just let him go with this complete bullshit story. Yeah, exactly. This is what this is what the purpose of cross examination kind of is. You you let them go with a completely non credible story, and then you point out that the point is kind of actually to go later on in reality with like submissions and go. You kind of expose how much how little story their sense makes, and then you go, this witness isn't credible. That's why you shouldn't believe them. And my witness is credible because blah da blah da blah da blah da blah blah blah. I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. I mean, that's speculation. You didn't see that they were doing it. That's speculation. Uh, a video? Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Right. I think the problem lies someplace else. 
or agreed that you heard the time of the scene that we are not agreed, Judge. That's why I thought the time was 1 p.m. Are you sure the voice you heard said it was 1 p.m.? Yes, I can practically hear it now. It was quite clear. Mr. Payne, has the prosecution verified this testimony? My apologies, Your Honor. I, too, have only just learned that the witness heard the time. Well, see, this is why, you know, in the Australian system, you get all your evidence up front in writing first, and you don't give evidence in chief orally. This would be cross and then re-examination. This is, this is actually technically re-examination. Um, new evidence coming out in cross and then presenting it again in re-examination. And this is where, you know, stuff falls apart. If you can present something completely different in re-examination and cross-examination, it can kind of destroy your credibility because it's completely different to the presumably completely clear evidence you gave in writing. Oh, I'm really sorry. I only just remembered it now. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Well, you just watch it. That's not a question, Phoenix. Hmm. Not much point in pressing him on that one, was there? All right. Okay, this is where I present the evidence about the blackout. Objection! Hold it right there! You just said objection. You can't tell him to hold it when you... You can't hold it when you objection. That's not how this game works. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Ugh. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah, I, well, uh. the defense has a point. I certainly do, Your Honor. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sart? Uh, no, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Uh. Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Sart, the court would prefer to hear accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. What did I say? What did I say, listeners? It's all about the credibility. That's the sound of a non credulous witness being broken. It's all about the credibility. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Uh, that and you seem rather distraught. My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sart. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. I'm going to give you multiple times to correct yourself. Very credulous judge. Yeah, that, that's, that's, all, that's really all it is. It's, it's, who do you believe? That's, that's really what it comes down to. And, you know, I've had, like, cases that I, th like, thought were so likely to be won, lost, because the judge believed someone else. Um, like, I thought, like, cases that were so likely to be won on facts, lost, because the judge, like, didn't believe our client and believed someone else. I've had cases that I thought were so likely to be, like, lost, one, because the judge believed our client and didn't believe someone else. Like, again, like, sometimes credibility is more important than what seems, like, quote-unquote, like, factually plausible. You know what I mean? Sometimes credibility is more important than, quote-unquote, facts and logic. You know what I mean? Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Frank saw it. Uh, there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the killer used to t hit the victim. But this, this, this man sweating. He's sweating. Uh, that must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. Hmm. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Phoenix, Phoenix knows. Phoenix knows it. We got him. He, he's on the ropes. Pew, 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 pew. Get him, Phoenix. 
Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. Did you? That strikes me as very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I I'm really sorry. I, I only just remembered that table clock. A table clock? There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? A table clock? Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. The murder weapon? Yes, the tablecloth was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you yourself in the middle of my testimony or something? Rude. I mean, I've, been, I've done that. <laughs> I, I, I did that when I was uh, a, a law student. Uh, let's look out and see the civics of our community. Something's fishy here. That must have been what I saw. Why didn't you tell us that in the first place? I guess it just slipped my mind. I'm not really sure how it happened myself. The witness says he saw the table clock end of story. Now, find the contradiction. this I mean I know this is the meta weapon Objection! wait just a gosh darn moment the murder weapon wasn't a clock it was this statue now how is this supposed to be a clock no joke, this is actually my ringtone. Sorry, just give me a moment. Yeah, this is legit my ringtone. I'm not even ashamed of it. Why? You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? I'm Phoenix Wright! I'm a goddamn lawyer! Just answer the question, Mr. Sight! Hey, I, I I saw it there. Okay, that's a clock. Yeah, I, I, Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Fucking discovery process out the. Mm, never mind. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes, I fucking do, Your Honor! You bitch! <laughs> Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony! The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand! Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment! Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Ah! Oh yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Because this game is convenient like that. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. None of this is a fucking question. These are all submissions. Order, order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. This, this court is so off the rails. I don't care because the music is awesome. Yes, your honor. Mr. Saw it! The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable. 
since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Objection! What, what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture, and again, none of this is a question. I probably should have objected a long time ago. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. God. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, 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 I never. Look, I, the clock, I, I heard. No, I mean, I saw. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. Yeah, it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her and he should burn. Burn, give him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. This courtroom is a goddamn farce. <laughs> Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. I mean, this courtroom operates on zero rules of evidence. I mean, there's no fucking... Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Mr. Wright! Your Honor! You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Y your Honor, the sound Mr. Sorrett heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. I think it's 8.25. That is certainly a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between Mr. Sar what Mr. Sarrett heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sarrett, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh, what's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. I mean, I don't have to prove you did it. I just have to prove uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, I don't have to prove that. Allow me to do that. I don't have to prove that you did it. I just have to sow a reasonable doubt that my client didn't do it. And I have done that. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. I'm not trying to indict him. I'm just trying to get my client off the hook. And I've, I should have done that. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sart. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. There, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sart. Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! But, Chief, it's over! I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time downing the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock was three hours slow? Yes, I certainly can! Wait! Maybe I can prove it! You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? 
find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder? Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. She was overseas! The victim had just returned from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours, I say, as if we all know that. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! The victim hadn't resent reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sart, or should I say, Mr. Did It? Oh, got him, Phoenix! S sick fucking burn. I literally just fucking killed him with an epilepsy. 